Hello and welcome. I'm clinical hypnotherapist Melanie McCool, and I'm here tonight to be with you on this full moon for the full moon hypnosis experience. And as the entrepreneur's hypnotherapist, you may be wondering why, why this, uh, well, why do I use La Luna as an accountability partner? And, you know, I thought it would be appropriate to let you know that this journey has been, well, one that's at least this lifetime long. <laughs> and I've been learning how to take my mind out of what I see, the rest of the world, the, the ways the rest of the world acts <laughs> based on the rules they think bring success and instead looking within and looking for the actual what are real universal laws of success and I do believe uh, and a belief is just an opinion I do believe that the old ways of force and that old way of of being the dog eat dog hustle, grind. I believe that more and more of us are tuning into the understanding that that never really worked. Yes, there's something called manufactured manifestation and you can, you can work yourself to find a measure of success, but it's not sustainable. It's not sustainable. It's not sustainable for your heart, for your soul, for your body, for your mental and physical health. And so instead, we look to the natural rhythms of life and to the ways that are not only sustainable, but make this journey towards having the juicy dream life we desire something that is an enjoyable ride versus one that feels like a whole lot of sacrifice. And so this journey that I've been on has absolutely included using La Luna as an accountability partner. What does, what, now, what does that mean? It means that you know twice a month, we're given these opportunities to really contemplate what's going on in life, right? And as they say, an un, you know, unexamined life isn't worth living, right? So two opportunities a month for you to really examine what it is that you have around you and how that may differ from the life that you desire. And so here on the full moon, we're here, uh, the full moon's on tomorrow night, that would be Saturday, the 18th of December. It's at like 11.50 p.m. Um, I will be someplace very different from here than around a bonfire and doing much more of this work there. Uh, this is, this is the, the full moon in December, which has significance for us in many other ways. And that is, we're heading into what people traditionally use as a ramp up for new habits, new ways of being, new, I don't even wanna use the word resolution, right? But you know what I'm talking about. At new ways of, of doing life that will make life very different. You know, and that's, I'm all for it, except that you can't put new good habits in a vessel that's clogged up with old stuff. And in my program for prosperity work, we talk about not copy pasting from the past into the future. So if you want to have a different future, there are things that must be left behind. And so here's a full moon, purpose of, perfect opportunity for it. It also is uh, just about solstice. So solstice is on Tuesday. It's the longest night of the year. And I just love that the full moon is right now lighting up these long nights. So we're about to be you know, in, the, in winter. And for those of you who don't live in Florida, you might actually experience this, right? Uh, I do live in Florida, in case you don't know. And uh, so the, the full moon reflecting the light of the sun 
onto these long, cold nights. I just find this to be a really, you know, very deeply magical time. And so I'm inviting you here to relax in, sink into yourself for this hypnosis experience. And please do tell me where you're tuning in from, what time it is there. And know that it's it's irrelevant that it's not the actual, you know, exact time of the full moon in the in the northern hemisphere, east coast, right? That it's not really relevant. The full moon, the time of the full moon actually goes from now-ish through for a couple more weeks. And so it's all, it's all good. But do tell me where you're at, where you're coming from. And then back to the the purpose of the work that we get to do during the full moon is uh, the word purge is something people use. I like to think of it as leaving behind because purging sounds kind of awful, <laughs> right? But what if it could be gentle and you could just leave these things behind, these things that no longer serve you. Um, and the in the act of leaving things behind, just like if you clean areas of your house, which I would highly recommend you do here in this time, is go through and make some space. Because just like you're about to make some space in your psyche, right? You can make space in what you actually see in the 3D as well and make room for the new to come in. It's like a vacuum must be filled, okay? And I don't mean fill it with stuff. I don't mean that at all. I mean, fill it with things that give you a truly prosperous life. That's more love, more abundance in every area of your life. And that definitely doesn't mean just a whole lot of stuff, <laughs> okay? But make room because you can't copy paste the past into the future. And there's probably a whole lot of things in your environment right now that don't fit the you that will be birthed in 2022. And so I encourage you to not only do this process to release some things that no longer serve you, but also do that in the real world. <laughs> do it in your, with your stuff. And so before we get started, uh, I am just gonna ask you if, you, if you showed up with a candle, wonderful. You probably want to light it about now. Uh, if you came with a journal, even better. And if you don't have a journal, just go grab a, you know, it doesn't have to be a journal for this. Actually, it's perfectly fine if it's some paper that you are going to crumble up and maybe plant, you know, put in the dirt for it to be broken down or create, do a, a, a fire or a fire in your sink to be safe, <laughs> right? But you can burn this as well. Burning it is a very, is a very symbolic thing for your psyche. It's a, your subconscious mind loves that kind of ritualistic release, okay? And in my ancient hypnosis, modernized for entrepreneurs, I talk a lot about how these beautiful ancient rituals are potent, potent for change work because of the way that our subconscious functions. Your subconscious, it works in words, it works in pictures, it works in emotion. And when you truly give a strong emotion and the action, the act of doing something like burning it or burying it, <laughs> right? Ripping it into tiny pieces even. You're letting your mind that you're not mind that you're darn serious and you don't want this stuff cluttering your head, your decisions anymore. And so you could be choosing to leave behind anything at all. You know, prosperity, it's in all areas of our life. We mean, this could be in the areas of love and money, very potent this time of year to think about those areas, your relationships and money. Uh, but it could also very much be about health. I mean, isn't that one of the top resolutions that people, you know, ascribe to this time of year coming up? I certainly see actually seeing it already, see people who are signing up to make those changes already taking places on the calendar to re 
set their mind so that they can support themselves in those resolutions. And that's actually how it works, my friend, by the way. 97% of resolutions fail because you made them with the same mind that got you in trouble in the first place. And it's not really interested in change. So, but with hypnosis, <laughs> hypnosis is incredibly effective for making those changes, whether it's to release old bad habits or install new good ones, right? And that's where we get to work. And so take the time, just a moment here and write down the, some of the things that you commit to releasing today. And you know, commit to, that sounds like an active thing. Let's use different words. That's just the things that you release, you release today. And something powerful that you may want to consider is that you allow your subconscious, which is very wise, to choose the things that are released. When you go into a healing ceremony, one of the best things that you can do is just say, you know what? I'm, you know, I'm, I'm limited in what I would ask for. I ask for my highest good. And so you can ask for your highest good here too. It doesn't have to necessarily be something that you even think of consciously, though darn it, I'll bet there's some heavy stuff that you'd like to leave behind. And so just dig it out. Just do it. And when you're ready, when you've got that written down, you can just let me know in the chat so that I can, we can begin to get started. So just taking a moment and finding and things that are ready to go. What those might be. All right. And as I begin uh, the hypnosis, just a couple of disclaimers that uh, hypnosis is a completely natural experience not some weird, mysterious thing. The only things I'll say are things that are things that you, the only things that you'll let in, I should say, are things that you want for yourself. Um, but if you have any kind of psychiatric, you know, reason to not go into trance, that's, you know, it can be epilepsy or any disorder that has you, you know, disassociate from, normal reality on, on the regular, then you shouldn't do any sort of hypnosis, just for safety's sake. And if you are driving, operating machinery, if you're doing anything at all besides sitting comfortably right now, just don't do this. You can come back and play this when you have the time and space to relax. And if you'd like the recording, of this hypnosis piece by itself, then you can drop the word moon in this chat and you'll get the new full moon hypnosis that we're doing now uh, in your DMs. So there you go. So there's no reason for you to listen to this if you're doing something else, take the time for yourself. It's the most kind and loving thing for you to take the time for yourself to do things like this, to take yourself out of the thinking mind into the realm of the beautiful, feminine, creative that is your subconscious mind and allow this healing for you. And so with that, I hit record. Oh, there you are. Couldn't find you before. Beautiful. Yes, Laura, the actual full moon's tomorrow. You got it. Awesome. Lovely to see you here. 
Oh, there it is. Sorry, guys. All right. So with that, you're listening to clinical hypnotherapist Melanie McCool. This is a hypnosis experience. I'd ask that if you're anywhere but completely relaxed, that you listen to this when you can be completely relaxed now. So find yourself comfortable, your arms and legs uncrossed. And you may choose to place your hands over your beautiful heart and one over your belly button or palms on your lap, any way that is comfortable for you. And then what you're going to do is take a nice deep breath in, look up like you're looking at a spot on the ceiling. And then as you exhale, you can close your eyes down while you continue to have those eyeballs looking up slightly. So without struggle or strain, you've got your attention turned inward and upward. And as you take a nice deep breath in, you can hold it at the top for just a moment and exhale slowly, forgetting all about your eyes and the position of your eyes. And as you've turned your attention inward and upward and slowed down your breathing, your body goes into a kind of sleep of the nervous system. And you won't go to sleep. You'll hear every word that I say. But you can just allow yourself to relax more and more with every word that you hear. And just use your beautiful imagination. Allowing yourself to relax more with every breath. And every word, you're going deeper. As you use your beautiful imagination, I want you to imagine now that you are walking out on a beautiful pathway in nature that is brilliantly lit up by the full moon. And the path that you're on, you find it's very well trodden. And you can hear your footsteps. You can feel the ground under your feet as you walk. And you can smell the freshness of the night air. You may feel the air on your skin. And listen, Can you feel the frequency of the buzz of the insects? Perhaps there's an owl calling in the distance. As you walk and your feet make gentle contact with the earth. One foot in front of the other. And as you walk in this beautiful pathway, you notice but just ahead of you, there's an entrance to a labyrinth. A labyrinth is a wonderful, magical space. There's one path in, one path out. And you can feel a kind of excitement in your belly as you see this place in front of you. Stepping forward one foot and two. As you step into the labyrinth now, you can take your palms and just turn them facing down. As you walk into the labyrinth, stepping one, and two, one, two. And as you walk, you can feel your cares and troubles just slip away. 
And you can imagine that each problem, anything you're worried about just comes off and just falls to the ground. And as you walk with your hands, allowing the cares and troubles to fall down to the ground, you may simply allow the cares to drop off. Or you can deliberately put them in a box, label them, and place them along the path on the ground. And the cares you leave behind, you'll find as you do that you become lighter. Every step as you walk, you become more upright. Every step is easier. You'll have more energy, feel more peaceful. As you continue to walk into the labyrinth and find yourself in the center. And this is a massive center. You find yourself standing in a circle of trees. As you find yourself in a circle of trees, you find that the trees are planted just a couple of feet apart. They're very tall very old, an ancient circle of trees. And as you walk straight into the center, you can feel the cushion created by the needles from the trees under your feet. You can smell a smell of the trees. And you can notice the shadows created by the moonlight through these beautiful trees. And you can let the energy of these trees flow into your body. Turn your palms up. Receive. Let the healing energy of nature, of this grove of trees, come right into you. Receive. And as that energy flows into you, you can imagine any remaining worries, anything at all, just slipping away as a warm, gentle rain begins to fall right there in the center of the circle on you, washing over you, making you feel cleansed, more alive. Let that water just drip down your body. Washing away tension, illness, cares, everything that's meant to be left. And as the rain stops, it's as if the rain just simply dries from your body, leaving you cleansed. And as you look around, you notice that there are others now heading into the center of the labyrinth. Others have come 
and they all sit in a circle. In a circle within the circle of trees and you look around and you notice friends and loved ones, helpers, guides. And now take your seat there with them. As you notice that in the center of the circle, there is this cone of energy. There is a beautiful cone of energy that is the moonlight and it is shining now. It's a beautiful white light with a bluish tinge. You can see the violet and perhaps some sparkles of gold and rose gold in this beautiful cone of light that's come from the moon for you. And that cone, it spreads out over the people. And so you can feel the energy from this flowing into your body. Allow it to flow through your body. This energy is healing, it's cleansing, it's relaxing. Now stand up and look at the cone. And as you do, you'll see there's a shadow-like shape, a U-shaped shape <laughs> on the cone in front of you. You can walk over to that U-shaped shape in the cone. This kind of indentation like when you make a snow angel in the cone and you can now find yourself leaning in and supported by this healing light and the cone will support you your head will be supported, your body supported. And you can feel the energy that's flowing through the cone down through your body and straight into the ground, into the earth, allowing all pain, tension, cares, worries, all that is meant to be left to flow out of your body and into the ground. Let the energy work for you to feel vibrant and whole. And now you can allow yourself to stand up feeling incredibly vibrant and whole. And as you place your hands into prayer position in front of your heart in an act of gratitude, you can begin to put one foot in front of the other, heading back along the path, out of the labyrinth. And there are some people who go ahead of you. You may recognize them as guides, helpers, teachers. There are people walking behind you as you show them the way. 
one foot in front of the other. And as you pass by the wisdom that you left along the trail, you may choose to give thanks to those things that you left here today, one foot in front of the other walking under the light of the beautiful full moon. Walking out of labyrinth now. And as you do, knowing that your life is a sacred journey. It's about change, growth, discovery, movement, transformation, about continuously expanding your vision of what is possible, stretching your soul, learning to see clearly and deeply, listening to your intuition that is so strong now at the full moon, and taking courageous, challenges every step of the way. You know that you're on the path exactly where you're meant to be right now. And from here, you can only go forward as you exit the labyrinth, shaping your life story into a magnificent tale step by step, walking into your dreams and not just any old dream. It's a miraculous dream, worthy of all your hopes and dreams. It's a tale of triumph, of healing, courage, beauty, wisdom, power, dignity, and love. And as you find yourself standing Once again, on that beautiful pathway in nature, under the light of the full moon. We can take a moment now to thank yourself for taking this journey. A journey that's really only just begun. As you find yourself now feeling more in your space, find yourself inhabiting your physical human body in space now, the U shape, place, and space. You can take a nice deep breath in, allowing that breath to invigorate your body and your mind. And when this process and what is meant for you has been incorporated across every area of your life, being across every bit of you and every dimension, you may find yourself returning to your full consciousness. Take a nice deep breath in, up behind your eyes, invigorating that brain. As you exhale, open your eyes, coming right back into the space. And I'd ask, what do you know now that you didn't know before? You may choose to journal it. Whatever is the right way for you. You may also choose to let me know here in the chat. What do you know now that you didn't know before? <laughs> and how are you feeling?
<laughs> yes. You know, I, I love each and every one of you. And I can't help it as I'm going through the labyrinth with you in my mind. Yeah, beautiful. From my mind into my womb space. That's some wisdom right there, Velma. We put so much, the world does. And I started, when I started this, talked about instead of looking outside to what the world does, instead looking within, the world would have us put so much energy into this thinking brain, disconnecting us from the wisdom that's in our body. And so, yeah, bringing your energy from your mind down into your womb space, beautiful, creative, sensually pleasurable space. Yeah, Allison, things are cyclical and everything gets better. Isn't that the truth? There's a, a very specific and beautiful process that we can do around that. Just letting your mind know <laughs> exactly what you've just said. But yeah, things are cyclical. Everything gets better. And you know, one of my uh, colleagues posted something earlier today and it was something like, <laughs> This world's gonna hurt. <laughs> That's the, that was the whole quote. <laughs> it's gonna hurt. And you know what? Yeah, we go through hard times that even as you do this work, that doesn't mean that the world isn't gonna, you know, come crashing to at you. Feather, rock, truck, find the, the post here about that. I just did the other day, or it's actually today. Um, and, uh, the world's going to throw it at you. It's all about how you process it. And I don't mean dismiss it. I mean, process it. There's people today who have been shedding tears. Let them flow. How quickly can you allow the wisdom from whatever it is that you're learning, everything you're experiencing, play into your life, calling it wisdom. Anne says, how exhausted my body is living in the energy of pushing. Well, Anne, you're in the right place. My promise to you is that you stay around me long enough <laughs> and you're gonna learn that we're all about bliss, <laughs> deliriously happy success. In fact, I've got something really powerful coming. Just keep your eyes open. Beautiful Anne, it's lovely to meet you. <laughs> cool. All right, so with that, I am gonna wrap up tonight and uh, I do, I, you know, and you know, I'm gonna ask something, something of you. If you do a, something special for yourself to, to release this, so whether you do have a fire or you, you bury something in the ground or you, you know, you, you give that extra rich, ritualized step to this process, I, I would love for you to let me know that. If you want to take a picture, wonderful. <laughs> if you want to just let me know by commenting here, that's great too. But I just, it's something that we get to do together. This energy that we're in, this isn't just you on your own. This is, you know, this is a, this is a beautiful energy, energetic vortex that we get to operate in here. And so with that, I will promise to post my, what, what I get to do tomorrow as a picture in the group. So I make that promise to you. With that, I just tore up my paper. Awesome, Anne, perfect, little tiny pieces. <laughs> All right, with that, I say, good night. You are beautiful and blessed. And with that, I say, have a fantastic one. You deserve it. <laughs> and there's my cat saying, yes, you do. <laughs>